I realize how important a crockpot guide is to many folk out there, but I also realized how horribly monotonous an all recipes guide would actually be. So the solution I had? Separate the good old facts from the who gives a crap. So the first of hopefully only a couple recipe guides is going to focus on the heels. That is, the foods that will help you lick your wounds the best. And we might as well start at the top. But before we can don our chef's hat, we need to lace up our boots and track down an elusive magic, as one is needed for our first recipe. Combine the terrifying sentient vegetable with twigs for the simplest of recipes, or a combination of meat, veggies, or even a dab of honey to whip up mandrake soup. It's a unique food item that restores a hundred health per slurp, along with 150 hunger and five sanity apiece. It sounds too good to be true, but we gotta remember, mandrakes do not grow on trees, so I really would order something else on the menu. So who wants breakfast in bed? If you want waffles, you are gonna need butter. So have fun murdering peaceful butterflies for a whopping 2% chance of obtaining a bar. You'll also always need an egg of some variety, so steal some winged babies and then look to toss in some juicy berries each time too. As for the rest, Use more berries, additional honey, or even ice. But waffles themselves restore 60 health to taste, along with nearly 40 hunger and 5 sanity to boot. The trivial part is the butter, but now you know how to properly use the sticks that you do get, and I highly recommend you do. Ah, the food that people always give me crap for, pierogies. You'll always be needing meat, veg, and eggs, so turn to captured bees to mass produce the latter, and maybe even invest in shroom planters for growing your own ingredients, but then toss it all together with more meat, veg, or even ice to net a food item that restores 40 health. 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity once again. And in only 20 seconds to fully cook, with incredibly reasonable ingredients needed to whip them up to begin with, pierogies could very well sit at the top of your healing needs. However, a noteworthy alternative, fish sticks. Also healing for 40 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity, fish sticks can be created with every available fish in the constant, but don't forget the sticks. As for the rest, meat, veggies, more fish, and berries are an option for you. And remember, each pond holds 10 fish, and the catch rate is rather fast, so perhaps fish sticks can reign supreme in your world, but I say to each their own. And oh yeah, fish sticks are needed to call forth kitty kit, by the way. The other food Beard's gotten crap for over and over again, dragon pie. Well, get your crap comments ready, because I'm talking about them again. Once you've grown a couple dragon fruits, feed your enslaved bird friends with them to obtain dragon fruit crop seeds in order to become the true master of dragons. The simplest recipe is but a fruit and three twigs, but three berries could work for you too, and maybe some veggies on the side, or even some ice come winter if you don't want to waste your twigs. The pies themselves will store 40 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity each course, so have fun growing and mass producing your own heels. Up next, a recipe unique to a season. We'll be needing a number of cactus flowers to create them, so brave the warm sands to get you some, and throw together some more cactus flesh itself or a handful of veggies for flower salad, a food item that fills for very little but grants 40 health each. The availability of it holds it back, but they are absolutely an option, especially for desert basers. Arguably one of the easier healing foods which is great. Honey hands restore 30 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity per sweet, sweet, hammy dinner. And even small, simple bee farms make amassing honey an absolute joke, and the meat and additional ingredients should come through basic survival anyways, so having honey ham on your radar should really change up your dinner plans, cause they be good. But arguably the most efficient healer, Trail Mix, and it will net 30 health, little hunger, and 5 sanity, but it's the fact that you only need birch nuts and berries for a 30 health per munch food, and that makes it something you simply can't cannot ignore. So get to deforesting those birch biomes, baby. But if you do kind of feel bad about that, why not adopt a little one? Cause that will help you all on the way. We kind of just covered the delicacy, so here's the quick rundown. 
Guacamole will always need a moly friend and a piece of cactus flesh, and then it's up to you to choose your fillers. But Guac will fill you up for nearly 40 hunger, give you 20 health back, but will also give you zero sanity, which I take offense to because nothing restores my faith in humanity more than a bowl of Guac. But you can also summon forth yet another critter from the rock den with it, so there you go. Spicy chili is next, and here's one that's actually unique. You'll need a ton of meat and veg, so take a look and decide for yourself which recipe works. But spicy chili may appear average with its 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and a whopping zero sanity restoration. But the chili must be a butt blaster, because it will raise your temperature by 40 degrees for 15 seconds upon needing it. And with no other heat or insulation sources, you will struggle to warm past 50 degrees. But still, there's no complaining there. That's some spicy stuff. However, if you want things to get really hot, why not call forth a broodling chili? for the win. Anyone fancy a drink after all this food talk? Fruit medley is mixed up via an interesting set of fruits including durians and pomegranates, along with some simple fillers like twigs, berries, and such. The drink may look and sound unique, but the medley is pretty average when it comes to its stat restoring properties. But hey, at least you now have the knowledge of what to do with those useless durians and pomegranates. Ever wonder what else those frog lays could do for ya? Well, well, bring together some veg, Twix, and heck, even flipping mole worms for whatever reason to create Froggle Bunwiches, subs that grant you 20 health, nearly 40 hunger, and 5 sanity each. Again, it's rather unique, but it really wouldn't be my first choice. But it's certainly one to have in mind after frog rains, though. Beard loves him some honey with his nuggets, so head out to your working bees once again and then toss him some meat and potential filler to whip up some honey nuggets. They'll give you 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each. But I must recommend going the little extra mile for honey hams, because it really isn't a long mile anyways. Them pesky gobblers stealing all your berries all the dang time. Well, kill them all and add additional meats and veg for some guaranteed Thanksgiving feasts. Restoring 20 health but 75 hunger, turkey dinners are a lovely alternative for just simply hanging drumsticks for small jerky. Although, perhaps not in the efficient healing aspect of things. So you've gone fishing down under and been wondering why the heck eels are even in this game. Well, it's because you can use them for a unique recipe involving cave lichen, more meat, veg and ice, or even additional swimmers to create unagi, a food that heals for 20 health, almost 20 hunger, and 5 sanity. Is it unique? Absolutely. Is it halfway worth it? Not even close, to be honest, which is quite a shame. But with the option for eels in your fishy sticks, why not eel tacos? Fish tacos require fish, corn for the tortillas, and a considerable number of varied ingredients or fillers to whip them up. And each munch will net you 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each. Might not seem all that great, but once you create your powder cakes, there really isn't anything else you need corn for, so there you go. And lastly, breakfast in bed for dinner. Bacon and eggs need, well, bacon and eggs. So perhaps murder some of our porky companions and amass some yolky goodness from birds once again. And that's really all you need, but there are some fillers as an option. More of a hunger booster, really. They will still give you 20 health each, but man. Breakfast really is the most important meal of the day, huh? Waffles, bacon and eggs, and fruit. Now that's healthy. Hold up, I forgot one. But do you remember all them butterflies you murdered? If you're a bit more of a pacifist and sort of kind of like nature more, you could choose to capture the beast instead and then kill them and then throw them together with a random set of ingredients to bake beer some butter muffins. Food items that give 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each. Decent, but certainly not high on the list. If you're still wondering why I've decided to break up the crockpot recipes like this, it's due to the fact that there is truly but a select handful of actually useful and efficient recipes, no matter the category. And I believe it will be better to highlight the best of the best first in each video instead of burying five to seven good recipes among almost 30 in total. And that's in Don't Starve Together alone. Also, you see how boring and monotonous this was with specific recipes alone? Imagine this times three all in one video. But expect
expect the others soon, and check the comments for quick access to the recipes you desire. But thanks for watching, everyone. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.